All right, I'm out here on the Dog Branch School Road. That's my buddy Doug. That's my buddy John Paul. We always like to stop and show this little old scenic view. We don't know the name of this waterfalls and don't even know the name of the creek, but it's it's pretty little falls. It starts cascading right up here. Comes down the cascade and it's dropping about 15 to 20 feet. Video doesn't do it justice. None of this country. But this is back down off of Dog Branch School Road. Video just doesn't do it justice, does it, Dougal? Did we ever figure out the name of this little streak? We didn't, did we? Mm -mm. I hate it when they get up there and paint those rocks. Oh, Lord, that thing climbs way up, don't it? Beautiful country, though. That little fall's about 10 foot wide, isn't it, Doug? Yeah, easily. Yeah. What do you think about it, JP? You need to walk on down there where we walk down there and get you a good shot where we just walk. Show him yeah. where to go there, Dougie. Just above the falls. Upstream. There's the falls right over there. Oh yeah, it's pretty. It just cascades all the way up through there, Doug. Yeah. Where at? We're down here on Sinking Creek at the side of the old Joe Day Mill. There's an old, uh, come down here and get you, get your corn and your meal ground, didn't you, Dougie? You can't see it real well here. I, at one time I did a video on this. I thought this was the Floyd Mill, but that was another location. I'll let Doug get some video of the wall. You can see the wall right there. Part of the old mill wall. That's the old wall to the mill. And here on the edge of sinking. Pretty slick. Another little feature here. Of course, Doug was just filming right there on this edge where the old wall is right there. And down here is the, what would you call that? Part of the timber of the dam? The dam wall? It's the old mill timber for the, da uh, the dam right through there. No telling how many years that's been in there. Here on the banks of sinking. At the side of the old Joe Day Mill. You'll have to go back in my video file somewhere and find the old bridge. The last time I was here, I uh, documented the old bridge because I had heard that it was going to be torn out and replaced. Well, this is the replacement. Um, this is the bridge on Dog Branch School Road that goes over sinking. It was a wooden bridge. 
They um, looks like they used part of the old bridge abutment on the far side. I'll go down there and get some video in a minute. But the old bridge no longer exists. Now, there are a couple of these that still exist, the old type. One's over Horse Lick off of 89, 490 to 89 that's still there. And there's another one uh, off of Mount Zion Church Road that crosses over and goes into Jackson County. But these bridge replacements are happening and the old bridges are, are disappearing. Down here off of this edge before I go on the other side. Yeah, they've shored them up, Doug. They put a big concrete base over on that one. Well, they've done a good deal here, haven't they? Spent well, a lot they've of our... spent a lot of tax dollars on yep. this son of a gun. And, and, and to less than nowhere. The bridge to less than nowhere. Yeah. I mean, you got some residents and church folk up there at the, I think it's New Hope Church, and and then some of the. Um, there may be two families total up there. Yeah, the Morgans. That could come. come but that out. road right there will take you back toward the Daniel Boone National Forest off of 119 and back eventually to Cold Hill. That direction back to White Oak. I actually think it's about seven miles from the mouth of Dog Branch from the road to the back to the to 192. Seven miles. Yeah. Well, that's that's back up toward what you call Bunch, Kentucky, and uh, mm -hmm. I was trying to think of what Morgan's grandpa's name was, the old home place that goes down the path there toward the hunting camp. What was his name? Ah, shoot. We're getting old, Doug. Mm -hmm. The home place that we fit. The Rogers is. I said yeah. Morgan's. What am I talking about? I don't know. There's the Rogers is. God Almighty! It's the Rogers is yeah. up there. Yeah. But uh, is it Dale Rogers' grandpa? Which was, was Ernest. And then uh, the old, his dad. the Ernest old home place dad. that you have to drive around to get to the path. Yeah, that's Ernest Rogers' original home. That's where Dale was raised. Yeah, but there's an old timer before that. I'm trying to think of. Oh really? Now the bunch. Post office was there at the top of the hill I showed you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get my thoughts together here. Do what? Well, it's a great deck. It, it's going to be here a long time. But I miss those old wooden deck bridges. I do too. it would take a little bit of forethought and that could have made it look a little bit. A little bit prettier? Yeah. Sort of institutional looking. exactly right. Down here on the lower side of the bridge. They used the original two. They used the end abutments, but they concreted above All the far one. All they did that in. That's the original, yep. isn't it? Yep. Well, I don't know if that's the original or not. It'd have been made out of stone. Right, that's the they second. Yeah, they've definitely supported around it. You see, Doug, I'll, if you'll go back and look at your old video, you will remember, you'll look, you will see this actual support. Yeah. Oh, I know. But that was not first generation. Right. Or it would have been stone. Right. This right here is first generation. Yeah. And they they used this thing. No, they're floating above it. They left it. Yeah. They're, they're floating above it, and they did a big uh, concrete bulkhead right there. Right. For aesthetics, I kind of like that. that. Makes you feel better about it. At least they did try to do. Left a little history. Yeah, yeah, they floated above it. Uh -huh. That's nice. You see that crack? They floated they above it, but they did. left left it for prosperity. You know, they could have taken a little time and put some rocks around that. Yeah. Put some wood on the outside of the roof. Like yeah. Those are drainages. There should be or expansion, so it wouldn't freeze it. It's probably expansion. There's like two going uh -huh. up. Got 
For, to drain. Yeah. yeah, eventually it'll get there. Yeah. Um, not too far down that dug. It turns into a cliff that comes right down on the creek. Is that right? And you'll, you'll walk right alongside the, yeah, it's like a, kind of almost a tunnel. It's really pretty. I like it down to that creek. I've had video going across the old bridge. We might as well get some going across the new one. Dougie, the home place I was talking about up there at Bunch is, was the Cy Turner home place. Cy Turner. I agree with you. That's the one where you feel like when we went down that little old road uh -huh. that uh, I guess Cy built it when he was working in logging back in that country and he built him a quicker way to work. But it's the Cy Turner home place remember, I was trying to think you of. You got it on YouTube with the drop off. Remember the drop off? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, I can't remember the name. I've got a couple videos of this country. John Paul, what do you think? What was Cy short for Cyrus? Or? Nope, that was his name. Cy. Just Cy. It it was C -Y. C -Y. C -Y. Right. Normally, I, that would have been I short for Cyrus. Few, I can show you a few trees in this country that's got his initials in it. This is uh, definitely a wilderness area. This is Western Long County, but Daniel Boone Forest. Cliffs or caves everywhere. There's one right over there I've been in. Look at the ice. Look at the ice. Yeah. And, and, and this is not exactly vehicle, automobile. No, you're not becoming here in a two wheel drive. Country. Uh -uh. Lots of beautiful rock formations, man. This country. All right.